<laughs> well, hey guys, we know it, it, it works. Oh boy! Yes! Wait, you better be- you're going home, right? Yes! Interplanetary travel, baby! Hoo-hoo! What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Astroneer. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon, and this little fellow right here, you wanna say hi to the people? Huh? Do ya? Ah, oh, look at that, he's waving at you guys, what a cute little bugger. This like a smaller wave? And that's a head scratch, you're confused now. You're confused who you're greeting? You're greeting the people watching the video, dude, that's what you're doing. Yeah, he's excited now. How about that? Anyway, so off camera, I decided to do a little bit of fixing the base. You know, everything was kind of like uneven, really crazy. There's a tree over there, as you can see. So I started doing that. In the process, I also told myself, well, I'm going to need some resources for the next video. So I started, you know, gathering resources. Then I had a lot of resources, and I was like wondering, hmm, well, I have the resources now. I might as well just make a couple of items so that, you know, we don't have to spend too much time doing the next video as well. And I made some items. And you know what? Here's the thing. I have a problem. There's a really big problem. I cannot stop playing the game. And you know what? That's good. The first step in addictions is admitting you have a problem. So I, I created some stuff for us, okay? Let me just show you here where life done. I, don't worry. I haven't used it just yet. We'll use it here together. But remember, we made the space truck, right? That's ready and good to go. But you see this? I have a giant battery. That's from the stuff that we were researching. You know, those little weird brains that we've been finding and whatever and putting them in the research thing. I have a wind turbine over here as well. Pretty huge dude. Really good for power um, supply, mind you. And I have this beacon. I have no idea what this does. We've had a chance to build this for a while. No, that's, not, that's, not, that's nothing new right there. But I have no idea what the beacon is for just yet. Um, and we have a drill head, which I imagine you put that into your vehicle. And don't you worry, I also am going to make the shuttle here today, so don't you worry, I just made a couple of small items as you saw. Oh yeah, my vehicle over here, well, <laughs> um, as you can see, he's ready for travel. We have a seat for ourselves, we have a little bit of a storage container right here, and we have a giant solar panel. So whenever we're in the daytime, we get to basically be powered up by the sun, and at nighttime, I have a generator right over here that takes the organic matter and turns it into power. So we could travel at nighttime. How about that? It's all good, huh? I know, I know. Believe me, I've been a busy bird. Ah! I just fell into my, um... <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I forgot this. This is my new, um, stockpile area for excess stuff. <laughs> okay, so now it's been controlled. You come over here, my friend. You are going to be part of my vehicle. So we'll place you right over here. Okay, so that's you're going to be drilling into mountains and shit. I haven't used it just yet, so I don't know how it works, but... There it is. Okay. Boom, there it is. Now, shuttle. Right. Okay, this I have no idea how it works, so we're gonna find out together. So, number one, we're making the shuttle, which should be kind of cool. I also kind of, like, went through and I... I paved the floors a little bit, because everything was kind of, like, really uneven. We had a bunch of, like, crevices and stuff, so... It's looking a little bit better. It takes a while, though, because, like, even with the sun out, it you still run out of power, even with two solar panels on your backpack. Maybe with three, it'd probably do better. I don't know. Alright, so this right here is indeed my shuttle. Great. Oh, and this requires a seat as well. Okay. Um... Oh! A crane? So... What you require is made through here altogether, so we're not done with the shuttle. This is only part one. What the hell is that next to you right here? You have, like, some tanks that go in you as well. Is that, like, the fuel? That could be the fuel. Okay, well, uh, apparently... We also need to make a seat for you. And what do you require? Oh, let's move out the way. You require compound. Luckily for us, as I mentioned, I had some precautions here. And I know where to get some compound if we have to do so. And if we have to go out there, it's pretty cool because I'm going to take the vehicle. So it's going to be all pretty cool and fun. <laughs> anyway, so that's the, um, the seat right there. So make it. Building this fucking shuttle today, baby. Not sure where it goes to. Does it go to another planet? Is there another planet out there? I mean, there should be multiple planets, I think, is what I read. But I don't know. What do I know? Oh boy. Um, are you telling me we're done with the shuttle? Like, this thing is acting like it's gone completely. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in. I mean, I don't think it's going to be going anywhere, though, considering um, it probably doesn't have any fuel or anything like that. Oh, wait. Need fuel. Right, exactly. So is this where the fuel condenser comes into play? Because I still have one more um, thing to make if I wanted to. Um, so a vehicle bay. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's back. <laughs> it just scared the shit out of me. This thing moving just scares the piss out of me. Oh, you could make multiple seats for your other friends and stuff. Too bad I don't have any friends, but it's a possibility. 
Okay, that's cool. I can make a fuel condenser with copper. You see how valuable copper is? Everything needs copper. Alrighty, so... Um, two coppers. Two coppers. I got two coppers right over here, my friend. That's the reason why I don't want to make that crane just yet. Although we have an extra one right here. No, it's aluminum. Oh, never mind then. Copper. Come with me, copper. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. I'm not even... <laughs> I'm trying to make a copper joke like from fucking Dick Tracy. And here's the thing, man. I I'm old, sure, but I'm not that old to the fact that I remember Dick Tracy so well. Like, I think I remember watching the movie as a kid. I think. I either that or I had, like, a comic about it. It was one or the other. Alright, so go ahead and put the copper in here. And make the fuel condenser. So I don't know much about Dick Tracy other than what I remember from that comic book. Which was a very long time ago. There is a bit of a fuel deposit right over here, so... Um, unfortunately, you're gonna also ruin my terrain again. That's fine, we'll just basically try to pave you into some prettier line of sight down the line. You better not just cave in, though, okay? And... Uh, I guess we'll just, um, raise the floor. As opposed to raising the roof or raising the floor, which is kind of, like, different. Like, can you ever imagine going to a club and instead of saying, like, you know, raise the roof, they're saying, Hey, guys! Raise the floor! And you're wondering, like, what? Like, what do you mean, raise the floor? What the fuck does that mean? I mean, that sounds like something I would say, like, I would screw it up, because, like, you know, I have a tendency to <laughs> take sayings and just kind of butcher them completely. So, like, I could see myself being a DJ one time in my life, and just being like, Hey, everybody, party people's in the house, how about we raise the floor? And then people be like, what the fuck? Fire this guy right now, and that's basically my adventure as a DJ. Just one day. Just one day, that's all it took. <laughs> it's a very profitable environment for me, huh? Okay, so, uh, you're, oh boy, oh shit, man, it just makes fuel for you, <laughs> okay, it just makes the fuel for you, see, here I thought, here I thought I had to, like, you know, put fuel into it, but it just literally makes it for you, oh my god, this is the best thing of all time, <laughs> why am I collecting fuel over here when I have this option, okay, I don't want to hear it, don't you dare be a smartass with me, people. Look how fast we gather our power, too, because of the wind turbines, the solar generators that we have. Well, our base is looking pretty baller. Now it's taking a little bit of time here, but that's okay. So let me run over here to my shuttle now that we have the fuel. And let's find out about this predicament here. So, if I come over here and I bring this up, right? Oh, yeah, I didn't mention this, but I also have a couple of extra oxygen tanks, too. I forgot about that. But, yeah, I do have that. Okay, so that, that went one. Okay, that was one. Okay. Um... This is two. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit excited here. Oh, contain the arousal, Falcon. Contain the erection. Okay. We could, you could still, you could take more. <laughs> Damn right you could take some more, huh? I'm gonna fill this bad boy up, because I want to see how far we could go. And I imagine the further out we are, the more fuel we need. So you, my friend, give me more fuel. So after all, the collection I did over here is not a bad thing. I still needed an ex extra fuel, so... I mean, obviously I had the wrong idea how this worked properly, but the extra fuel did help us out a little bit here. So that's fine. I don't feel like too much of a fool now. Alrighty, so let's see. We'll put you through here. I'm gonna say we need probably one more. One more is what it looks like. Okay. Uh, I think we can make that crane, but we need more copper. We need two more copper. So let me show you what I've done here below the ground. This is my little cave system, right, where I normally go out and find stuff. Excuse me. You shouldn't be this way. No, no, don't you wave at the at the plants, okay? There you go. I like to see the lines not clip through. It bothers me a little bit, so there you go. It's gotta be super realistic. Oh, god damn it. Hey, it's gotta be super realistic, I said. There, that's, that's more appropriate. Oh, you son of a biscuit, look what you've done. Okay, you know what? Fuck the OCD, okay? Just, just screw it. Okay. So down here is my little cave system. I, I, I couldn't get rid of these trees, man, so I basically just made it wider and bigger, and I made them just fall in, so they don't bother me up above. Ooh, I think you are... you're resin, aren't you? Yeah, you're resin. Now, I haven't gone all the way down there. I normally come and hunt for copper down this way, so how about we go and investigate a little bit here today? Just that I haven't gone through here. Your resin, your resin flying above the ground, which is a little bit eerie. And weird. What's down below, I don't know, but I'm scared to find out. <laughs> Especially without a tether. Ooh. Hello. Are you... what are you supposed to be? Compound? You're compound. You're another brain. 
And I see a lot of missing textures down there, which um, worries me quite a bit. I don't think we should probably go down there. Alright, so over here is aluminum. I don't think I need aluminum anymore, so it's just mostly copper. And here's what I told you about, like, the missing textures. Like, it hit me really hard. I don't even know why, but it definitely did. You are power. Could probably use it on the line. There's also a couple of those assholes down here that spit that little green gook at you. And I'm trying to avoid them because obviously they would kill me and make me perish. And I don't... I'm, I'm not really particularly fond of dying here at the moment. I hear you guys. Like, I don't know where you are, but I can hear you. You're probably underneath me or something, because you could see me because of the weird missing textures now. Well, whatever. Um, let's collect more of you. Ooh. Oh! Oh, what? What? Wait, wait, what? What, what does... My brain hurts a little bit trying to figure out what just... I thought I was just sucking down the copper ore. <laughs> That's what she said. No, but for real. How do I collect my body? Oh my god, he's so stiff! <laughs> this is some Inception shit right here. Okay, well, I, did I get the items that I had on me? Oh no! Hey! Yo, dog. Yo, jokes aside, you have my oxygen tanks. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. What are we doing to you? Okay, do yeah, 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 those are mine. Yeah, yeah, give me my ox- there we go, okay, good. So we're good now? There we go. I figured something was- I was just like, wait a minute, no, no. His body is too valuable to me because he's got the oxygen tanks that I built. And I'm running out of oxygen too right now as well. See, I see them all the way over there. Those are the guys who are supposed to kill me. These guy, this thing that killed me, I have no idea what that's all about, but whatever. Can't, um, cry over spilled milk. Not that you would do that. Is that, is that how the saying goes? Crying over spilled milk? I mean, why would anybody cry over spilled milk? Like, unless there's like a really terrible, like, milk deficiency in the world. Couldn't you just pour yourself another glass of milk and be done with it? Like, I would just sit there and cry, like, Oh, God damn it! I just lost my glass of milk. <laughs> what am I to do, because I don't got any milk? Like, I mean, for real now, just just pour yourself another cup of milk and you're fine, okay? If you don't got milk around, you go find a cow and milk the cow. There you go, perfect. Fucking problem solved. That's what I do, I solve problems, in case you weren't aware. Speaking of solving problems, how about solving the suffocation problem here, Falcon? Because you're about to, uh... Yeah, yeah, that right there, you're about to do some of that. <laughs> oh boy. Nothing gets by me. So that's cool. Well, the copper issue is still going to be a problem, because I don't think I have enough. I have enough for... Almost... almost another one? I have enough for one right now, but we're still missing one more. Now, you're telling me there should be more down here, right? But I somehow don't believe you. Oh! You were kind of right. Okay, that's a bit more there, I think. Come on, where's the deposit at? You go pretty far down, don't you? So, let's go about over here and do some more exploration. There is, luckily, oxygen for us right here. Now, my problem is always, I always get lost. Fuel. Mm, I don't need you anymore, but it's good to know that you're here. I was good. Oh, here we go, baby. Oh, oh, I hear the spitters. I hear them. I could kind of see them, too. Let's take all the copper that we can right now so we don't have to make another trip back anytime soon. This place kind of scares me a little bit. I'm gonna power. That scares me too. Okay. Oh, well, luckily we have the power here. Now, I do believe I came in through the area with the oxygen in the walls, correct? So I don't want to make sure I don't get lost here. Because I said, I get lost very easily. Okay, come on. Okay, so we cannot carry anymore. That's good to know. So what can we leave behind? I'm gonna say we leave power behind. And there you go. And we came... Oh. God dang it, Bobby. I already forgot where I came. Okay, wait, wait. I remember fuel. I mentioned fuel. And I remember oxygen. Okay, this should be it. Uh oh. Okay, before we continue, <laughs> let's get some oxygen in this here really quickly. In case I am lost again. I don't want to lose this body. It's really important to me now. It's got a lot of good supplies on it. Uh, I think that's home over there. Yeah, yeah, because we have to deal with this weird shit here now. Hold up. Let's, um, make sure. I don't fall into a place I'll never return from. Let's just raise the floor a little bit. Raise the floor, party peoples! <laughs> Fine, I'll stop. I'll stop with the party peoples and DJ Falcon. DJ Falcon will never be a thing. Alright, so, oh baby, the slides are real. Okay, so we got all the copper that we do need, I'm gonna say. 
Um, that should give us access to the crane. I don't know what the crane does, but, um, ooh, 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 boy. <laughs> you know what gravity does, though? It makes you go down, 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 Falcon. Here we go. Oh my god, that car just flew by itself. Now it's doing a, he a headstand. Yo, Wind, you better stop messing with my shit, okay? Um, you give me one more fuel, I suppose, and, and we'll come over here. And we'll place down the old... Kappa. 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 And you make it. No, tablet, you do not beep at me right now. I don't care if I have messages. I'm busy recording. Let's put these bad boys in here. We'll take off in the shuttle, move it aside, and we'll bring the vehicle. Maybe the crane can attach to the vehicle. I'm not sure. So let's um, give this bad boy a try. We, we know we have enough fuel. So here we go. Tab it is. And uh, we take off. So let's see what happens. Um, one, two, three. We're blasting off again! Are we really gonna blast off? Oh my god, we are. Oh, Jesus. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh! Oh, no, but I don't want to leave my home base. I like it there. I haven't even rode the vehicle for the people. Oh, I get to choose where I want to go to now? Oh, shit. Um, can I just go back home? <laughs> I mean, we know it works. I, there's other pl- Oh, no. Don't, no, I just want to go back home. Oh, I get to st I get to choose from here. <gasps> oh, no way. Okay, hey, can you please find my home again? Like, I'm not ready to leave. I just wanted to see how this worked. Okay, my curiosity is sated. I just want to go back home. Wait, wait, I think... Oh, here's home. Okay, good God, it's coming back. <laughs> well, hey, guys, we know it, it, it works. Oh, boy. Yes. Wait, you better be... You're going home, right? Yes! Interplanetary travel, baby. Hoo-hoo! Oh, but now I can't put the crane because this... Okay, I'm confused. Um, I can't put the crane down because this guy always lands here, it does seem. Unless I make another vehicle base somewhere else, which is a possibility as well. Okay, okay, that's a possibility. Alrighty, well... Oh, my car's upside down. I was like, what happened to everything else that my car had? Why is it gone now? It's, up, it's upside down, though. Alright, so we know how to take off to another planet now, which is great. And we're going to be doing that. Now, the reason why I don't want to do that here right now is because I want to take this vehicle out for a ride. And I'm going to tell you right now, I have a bit of surprise for next episode. I don't know what to expect next episode, but if we drive all the way down where those clouds are at, there's a weird, like, um, space derelict ship or something that I want to investigate. So we'll do that next episode around and maybe even check out that satellite up there. But at least now we know that we have the space shuttle and we can leave the planet if we want to and go to somewhere else, which is probably what we'll do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Stick around for next episode. I will catch you next time. You turn upside down, goddammit. What's wrong with you, okay? <sighs> this guy. The nerve.